Good day, everybody, and thank you uh, for joining our uh, uh, Microsoft uh, Dynamic Sales uh, demo. Uh, this is just a short demo to, quick, uh, to show you quickly some of the features and functionality of Microsoft Dynamics Sales. Um, and uh, basically just kind of show you some of the out of the box uh, uh, things that you can see within uh, Microsoft Sales. Uh, the default settings that Microsoft has. Uh, keep in mind that you can, uh, uh, we can customize this and configure it to suit and meet your needs. This is just Microsoft default settings. Uh, my name is Lance Sladwig and I'm the business development manager here at Q Associates. And uh, we will get going here. So let's do this. Okay, so what you see here is our sandbox for sales. When somebody logs in, the first thing they're going to uh, see is the dashboard. Now the dashboard can be configured to meet individual requirements or group requirements. And what I mean by that is it is all role-based. So as a sales rep, I can log in and I would see things specifically to uh, that are associated specifically to me in my activity. Uh, so I've got my activities, my open opportunities, my leads. Uh, I also have the ability to see my performance. So I can see pipelines. Uh, let's go to this one. I can see pipelines, pie charts, everything can be broken down into multiple different ways. The other thing is that with uh, going through, I also have the ability to do it management based. Okay, so as a sales rep, maybe uh, leadership wants me to only see things that I'm focusing on, but from a management standpoint, I want to see what everything is, everything that's going on in uh, our sales organization. So. I can choose to see active accounts. I can see projects or leads, opportunities that we're working on. I can go through and uh, break them out in Gantt charts, pie charts, take your pick. Uh, even have the ability to go out and if I want, I could create a whole new dashboard specifically to me. And so it gives you a template and say, hey, there's three columns. What do you want? Do you want pie charts, Gantt charts, graphs, that type of thing? And then it'd break it out uh, in the different formats that you need and help you uh, uh, create it, all right? So that's the dashboards. Now let's go down here to accounts. And obviously I am a sales rep, so I'm logged in. It's going to pull up accounts in just a second here. Because of my role, I can choose only accounts that I am working on. I have the ability to go in and say, I want to do accounts I follow. And the difference between my accounts and accounts I follow is I could have my accounts, but I might be working with multiple accounts with other sales reps. So that could be accounts I follow. I can do all accounts. And it would show all of the accounts that are in here. It shows the account name, phone number, the general information that I need about that account. And so right here, I'm gonna go into burgers and beers. And then you can see that there's basic information on the account. You're gonna have things like the name of the company, the phone number, activity that's been going on inside this account. There was an opportunity. Um, emails that are going back and forth. I can actually open this up and uh, uh, take a look at a quote that was sent out to the customer. Uh, it shows emails that we're going through. It also shows who the primary contact. So I can also have multiple contacts within an account. So I've got Louise. I could also have Bob in here. I could have uh, whoever I want. It's gonna show me opportunities that are being worked on in that account. If we're doing customer service, it would show me cases that have been open up in regards to customer service. At the same time, I've also going to have insights into the customer. 
And this would be like, you know, uh, email interactions, web interactions, and so forth. I can look at assets, scheduling, all of that good stuff. I'm going to go back here and let's see if I can find another one. And so now what I'm going to do is we're going to try to find Bob. So hang on one second here and I will show you this account. Oops. And you saw how quick and easy that was. I just did a random search. I typed in Bob's. It pulls up accounts that have Bob's in it. It shows Bob's burgers. It shows the contacts that are in that account. It shows you leads we're working on in the account. And it also shows you opportunities that exist with that account. And that was just for doing a quick random search for an account. So I'll go into Bob's Burgers here. Like I mentioned, it shows you all of the information that you would be tracking normally in a sales organization for an account. It You can track parent organizations as well. Um, you know, and all the activity that goes on within that account. From here, it's really easy. I can go straight to an account or a contact. And with that contact, it shows me all the information about that contact. His name is Bob, who he is, who he works for, uh, his contact information, as well as opportunities or sales leads that I am or that he is associated with. So there's one for patio furniture, one for a 4th of July show, uh, a meat festival. And in here, I can look at de details that are specific to him. So if I wanted to track things like uh, gender, marital status, birthdays, anniversaries, uh, kids' birthdays, uh, the dog's name, stuff like that, all of that would be tracked here in details. Um, we also have the ability, if we're using marketing, we can track whether or not he's attended any events. And then over here, if we have files associated with Bob, in other words, uh, let's say a quote, a, uh, 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 a service agreement that we have with him, that would be over here. And these are actually stored in SharePoint. So it's a direct uh, uh, connection with SharePoint that it would be stored in. I'm going to go down here to leads. Now, in Microsoft's world, a lead is something that uh, has been brought up through marketing activities. This could be somebody reached out to a uh, web uh, your website and said, hey, contact me. It could be an email that marketing sent out and the customer or the person filled out a form that said, hey, contact me, or they clicked on a link on a website. That's what Microsoft used as a lead. So in here, I have leads, okay? And what I'm doing is I'm showing what is going on within that lead. So I take it and this particular one is, uh, we're talking to them about a kitchen re remodel, um, going through the process, any emails and so forth. I have a timeline up here where I can go through and I can track uh, the activity as well as uh, where we're at, what stage, did we qualify it, are we developing it. Um, once we've done that and we've got all this information, at that point then we convert it into what is called an opportunity. Now an opportunity is just that, it's a sales opportunity. We we We've taken that person that we were talking to who clicked on a link or said, hey, could you guys contact me? And now we realize, hey, look, this is legitimate. Um, you know, we've qualified it. Uh, it's a legitimate business. They've got the budget, that type of thing. So now we start treating it as an opportunity. And the opportunity is really where we're doing all of the work. You can see emails that are going back and forth. Uh, we have up here, I can sh you can see the estimated revenue from that opportunity. It's still in progress, the owner of the rep, when I expect it to close, and all of that. Now, when I get to this point, and let's just say this was this was one. It's, it's an opportunity, it's legitimate. 
we went out and did a sale, all I would have to do is hit closes one. It's going to ask us to verify the actual revenue, what the date was, if there was a competitor, maybe some notes in here. Um, hit save. <clears throat> now that opportunity is uh, closed. So it was a one opportunity, all right? Um, you also have the ability over here to track your competitors. And then over here, we can track quotes. So if I needed to create a quote for Bob, I did. Um, you can see they're just small amounts, but uh, you know I can go through, I can say, hey, look, this is a quote and put the information in here and send out the quote to uh, uh, to Bob. Uh, I also have, if I need to place an order, we can place an order from within the system. We can also connect it to your ERP or your accounting software and invoices can be tracked in here when they're sent out. So if uh, say the accounting department sent out an invoice, it would show up in here and you wouldn't have to reach out to accounting to take a look at it. You also have the ability to have products. So products, you can have individual products, you could have group products. Um, an example would be here is the office suite. It talks about uh, unit groups, how it's broken out, individual, standard, user, subject, list price, all that good stuff. So you can track all of your products here in the system. The other cool thing is, is over here, you can do sales literature. So let's say a customer, there is no data in here right now, but let's say a customer was asking about a specific product. Well, your sales rep could go right here. They could click on the product and directly from here, they could email them information on that product or they could speak to it if they're not familiar with it. You also have the ability down here for your sales reps to go in and create marketing campaigns uh, built around their customers. So they can put together a list specific to uh, their um, their customers. Let's say they want to send out a, a holiday letter. Uh, I've got, say, 100 customers in my book. So I would put together an email list and I can send out a holiday letter that goes out to all people. I don't have to go into Outlook. I can do this directly from here and send the email directly from within the CRM. All right, you can also track sales goals and forecasts from a management standpoint. So you know where people are going, what they're doing, have they done anything? Uh, a great tool for them to create their own goals and then management can go back in and track those. You can have them forecast what they believe their sales are going to be over the course of a day, a month, a quarter, a year. And then once again, management can go back in and look at those. So, all right, I know this is short and sweet, uh, but I really wanted to just kind of give you an idea of what it looks like out of the box so that uh, you have an idea. Keep in mind, all of these things that you have seen can be configured to meet your needs. So the dashboards, they can be configured to show you the information that's important to you. Maybe you don't call them accounts, maybe you call them uh, I don't know, clients or something like that. Really easily, we can go in here and change the accounts. We can add information in here. Let's say uh, you don't track uh, a ticker symbol, but maybe you track a LinkedIn uh, ID, or maybe you track uh, 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 Dun & Bradstreet numbers. Those can all be put in here and added into here. So. That being said, I'd like to thank you for uh, for joining us. If you have any questions, feel free to go to or send an email to info at qassoc.com or you can call us at 212-269-1313. And uh, thank you for attending today and have a great day.